Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Uh, the entire thing, it's not going to run properly. Unless I can separate out some of these. I mean, I think really what I want to do is I want to turn that one. We'll turn that one off. Disable that building. We'll turn that one off completely. That can do for a start. And... There, right. They've switched that. That one has now been disabled. So the gas that is in this pipe is going to go through. And then that means that things should flow a little bit better once this pipe is emptied out. The pipe's got to empty out first. Right. That'll be all right. We can do that. And then... But with the smart batteries over here right that one right there is oh okay so you in here and now i want to copy the settings to the other smart batteries like that right that's instantly switched off all of the generators there and then they'll come on when the smart batteries are sort of ramping up in power but then what I also want to do is I want that natural gas generator to be running before these here are running I don't know if I can do it with the same packs of smart batteries I don't think it works like that but I think what I can I actually I think what I can do is I can have one of these batteries logic activation parameters this doesn't have logic activation parameters down here. The generator, that's got to come in from outside. So what I can do is take you this way and I'd have a separate battery bank maybe. Running power in so that... Uh, that way I don't... They're not going to run and this one will run prior to these running so the low threshold at 10 the, the low threshold for these switching the low threshold for that one switching on should be 50 percent Ooh, i know i can do this i know how i can make this work i need to change these batteries around a little bit uh, that abstract there is crude that one we're going to get rid of so i'm going to deconstruct that one and i'm going to go in here and i'm going to demolish that for a minute and we're going to build some more batteries up here i've got i've got another idea for doing some stuff up there um this in here i've got no gas in i've got i got no breathable atmosphere over in inside and this is where we're starting to run into a bit of problem um my breathable atmosphere in here is is getting limited so i need to have stations where they can come through, they can use some breathable atmosphere in places, but they won't need to use it in other places. And like that, that that's what I need to be focusing on here a little bit. Um, how's my temperature doing? There's the temperature overlay. It's really not changing very much in here. I'm 40 degrees C in this room. Like, this is an insane temperature in this room it really is i think i need more wheeze warts this side is doing all right but then that's because i got all of this ice down here like i've got a whole load of phosphorite and and stuff like that i did have some more coming up this way well i think i've dug that out i got loads of hydrogen up here lots of hydrogen up through there and all the way down here i've got more wheeze warts coming in down this side which are starting to cool this environment down down here which is excellent that's what we want as long as we can keep everything cooling down that's um that is quite phenomenal someone said that i should try the neural vacillator we should do something where we, we want to put someone in the neural vacillator so i'm i'm gonna go in i'm uh, recover files from this structure scour the internal systems and find something of interest view entry that a second. Uh, the hatch has been selected for development due to its naturally wide range of potential food sources. Energy production is our primary goal, but augmentation to allow for the consumption of non-organic materials is more attainable first step, and will have additional uses for waste disposal. 
The MORB has been selected for development based on its ability to perform a multitude of waste breakdown functions typical for a healthy ecosystem. Design should focus on eliminating the disease risks posed by a fully matured MORB specimen. And discovered more research is required. Right. So yeah, this neural vacillator is... I've, I've been advised that I should do something with that one as well. We're going to... Oh, I've got printables available, so let's choose a blueprint. I don't want any more of them for a minute. Omelettes. Fluffed and folded egg innards. 8,400 uh, puffed eggs. I'm going to go with those. There, we've got a little bit of food coming in. And we're going to go to duplicate skills in here. Right, so... Bunny. In there is... Critter ranching. She likes crop tending, which she's going to go with critter ranching and critter ranching too. Nicola over here is improved tinkering, electrical engineering, like that. Um, and I guess we could do some art just to keep them happy. 10 out of 3 right here. Your astronomy are going to go in there and assist with that. And then you've got another one. So we will give you some proof supplying exo uh, suit wearing. Abe cannot learn exo suit training. Do I need to have them, like, fully trained in order to be able to wear the exosuits? Is that what it's saying here? That they're not able to do it unless they can... They've been properly trained. Improved carrying. And improved carrying too. So then they will hopefully be able to do that. Nine out of three down here. We will give you improved construction up there. And we'll give you hard digging down here. Max, 16 out of 4. Your morale is going way high. That is fantastic. So there's another critter rancher. Hassan down here, 8 out of 9. You're not looking too good. So even if I give you that one, your morale is going to be low. 8 out of 8 for you. Electrical, engineering, and plumbing. Neither of those are going to go. 21 out of 12. Yeah, you, you're pretty good. We, we can level you up a little bit. Uh, we will go one and plumbing as well. Just, just for now, you have got low morale. You right here, you've got low morale. Nails. Only just. So I'm like, if I do that, the morale is going to go out of whack. Um, 19 out of 13. Oh, you're, you're looking pretty good there, Turner. So, mechatronics, conveyor construction, exosuit training. I've already got two people trained in that, so we're going to go with that one. I'm able to train another one, so I'll do exosuit wearing as well. And then the rockets, wow. Plus 10? Right, that is slightly insane, but we'll, we'll have those up there, and then we'll give you improved construction, I think, down here. Right, 20 out of 16. You've got exosuit training already. Field research, astronomy, that'll be rocket pilot suits over there. I'll give you that one, and we will go with improved construction. We will go with medicine compounding. And we'll leave it at that. 15 out of 21. Your morale is terrible. Finally, Ellie's morale is on the rise. This is good. Her morale has been a bit of an issue. I'm. She's able to learn five skills. I'm going to go with basic skills for her. Improve carrying, improve tinkering, medicine compounding, just like that. Joshua over here, he can have critter ranching, I'm going to give him like that. And he's got one more skill. I, I'll give him some improved carrying like that. Lindsay right there. Art Fundamentals will give you some advanced research and field researching and the carrying skill as well. This is looking a lot better. Oh, Frankie, 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 Frankie. You could also do with exosuit training right there. 
mechatronics engineering skill, which you love, would be quite a good one to take. And if I give you the exosuit training, though, that's going to... I'm going to need you to have more... I, you know, I'm going to do that anyway. I'm going to take a risk there. Your morale is slightly low there, but it it is a risk. But I'm going to go with it. I'm, I'm going to run with that. Nails down here. I'm going to leave. Right, so who do I strip out and change over? So you here, you've got Art Fundamentals, which is basic. You know, I'm going to go with you. So who are you? You're Nicola. Nicola, we are going to have you. We're going to bring you down, and you're going to be the one to go through this machine down here. So we're going to run down here. Neural Vacillator, right here. Nicola. Let's just make sure there aren't any other. There aren't any other Nicolas. This is the Nicola. There, assigned. Right, what happens when they go through here? Where's Nicola? There's no Nicola there. There's Nicola. What's happening? Vacillation complete. I have no... Wait, what's going on? Do I need to have someone on here? Sending a red signal. Duplicate checkpoint, no power. Vacillation complete. Using... Contact with slime lung germs, contact with allergic reaction flowers, holding breath. What's going on here? They're, they're dying. And gates. Battery. There's no, there's, there's no power in here. I'm wondering if I need to actually connect it up to the power system. No, that's for the gate. So what does this bit do? This neural vacillator thing just seems to be killing them. They've got no oxygen. Suffocating. How do I stop it? Complete neural process. Phew. Nicola's brain is still vibrating, but they've never felt better. Nicola acquired the beef streak trait. Duplicans got muscles on their muscles. Strength plus 10. Okay. Right, I like this. I like this. Reach There are no charges left in this vacillator. Recharge requested awaiting delivery by duplicant. So how do you recharge it? Right, I'm not sure how that one is recharged. I don't really know what's involved with that. It's night time at the moment anyway. And they haven't done any of this. Oh, no, they, they, they've, like, delivered a couple of little bits, but they haven't delivered huge amounts of this one over here. Um, we've got stuff switched off over here. I, I want to be able to change a whole load of other things around as well. Uh, long commutes, no research focus, buildings lack resources. We've got plenty of coal over there at the moment. Someone's... Is there anyone coming down here? No, they're coming in to do some farming. Delivering some phosphate in here. Keep that going there. So there doesn't seem to be anything. The neural vacillator there doesn't seem to have anything going on. They are delivering items here to go and do digs and, and stuff like that. Um, plus they're delivering stuff across here. And I've got more digging over that side to go and do as well. We've got pleasant chit chats going on. We've got these who are busy being dug out. I got nothing else being dug out at the moment except for items all the way up here. I've got a room in here that we've yet to actually uncover and discover, which we will work on. We will do that. And then I've got all of this water down here that sort of filled up everything down there. It's not a lot that we're going to be able to do about that. That's not going to change anything. And then we've got everything up here. Right, I've got a load of polluted water in there. I've got lots of water in here. There's another wheeze wart there. There's a wheeze wart in there. This is all full of water. And the ice here seems to be melting. I, that, that, oh, that's dormant. 
Right there, eruption period, 216 seconds every 562. I haven't analysed it yet. And then I've got all of this water in here that is filling up and sort of leaking through. So all of that water, I want to bring it down here and put it into a huge great big tank down here, which we need to fill up. So I want to go next into uh, base, tile, and put that down there like that so they can come through and they can put all these tiles in and they'll be able to reach the bottom layer of tiles from underneath they'll be able to reach the top layer of tiles from up here so if i go through like that i can put these tiles in and that's going to go over to that side it's going to go to there and then we're going to go straight up like this and it's going to be the top part of it up to there so hopefully we'll be able to take all of that out um, I've also got other things that I needed to be able to build up and do, which included ripping out, um, like taking out all of this coal. I wanted to start having stations where we use what we get from the drecklets, the fur and that from the shearing station, right? The, we got reed fiber right there, shearing station, that, that gives us a reed fiber. So I want... Somewhere to store it, which I think would be over here. So we go to base, we will go to a storage bin, and we'll dump that one down there like that. We also want the tubes so that we can facilitate very fast transport from different areas of the base. Um, that would be a, a really good thing. We've got, this is our water, this is our cooling system right here. Um, that one is now actually working properly. Water down here is working properly as well. We've got some germs in there. No germs, no germs. That's all good. Temperature overlay in here. 24 degrees-ish. I'm hoping more of these wheeze warts will cool this room further than what it is right now. Because we've got this cold pipe coming up through. And then that spreads right round the entire base. Or it should do. It, it, it does pick up temperature. It, it is picking up some temperature. And then they're sort of moving on round. So the other thing that I was thinking of doing was extending the pipe further than it is right now. Look at these guys. That's 39 degrees up there. These wheeze warts. I need more of them. To be able to cool this down properly, I need more of those in there. But, so what I'm kind of thinking is this pipe, is if it went up here, in around here a bit, and then came back down again, that's going to add to the cooling effect, surely. If I was to bring it up that ladder, along, up into this room, over down the other side of the ladder down here and I know bring it back over this way yeah do it before it reaches that point where it goes in here and gives the water puts the water into the hydroponic farm maybe that would be a better thing so look liquid pipe let's take you up here We'll run you along this side here like this, and then we'll go up like this. I'm actually going to take that up a little bit higher like that. And then I'm going to go into the base in here. I'm going to go to the ladder, and I'm going to put that ladder up to there like that. And I'm going to go back into plumbing. We're going to take liquid pipe, and we're going to run a pipe down this side. There, and it's going to go along here. It's going to go down behind the door here. And it's going to stop right there for a minute. I'm also going to cancel that one there. And then we'll join that in afterwards. I will remove the pipe a little bit and we'll join that in so that we've got this uh, just cooling loop running up through here just for a little bit whether whether that's going to help or not i don't know i'm just 
At the moment, this is all experimental. I don't really know what I'm doing with any of it. So, right, you in here. We've got clothing. Cool vest and warm sweater. Consumable ore, crit egg, cultivable soil, liquefiable metal, miscellaneous organic. Uh, rot pile, polluted dirt, eggshells. No, I don't want any of that. Miscellaneous. What about you? No, you're abyssalite. Refined uh, raw mineral. Organic, already looked at. It's not that. Industrial ingredient, reed fiber. That's the one that I want in there. That is going to be just reed fiber going into that one. So then if I've got the reed fiber, I can then go into the station and I can go to the textile loom. That's got to be our next one. We want to plonk that one down right there. Potential power consumed on this network. So I put you there. That should automatically just join it straight in anyway on the... Um, the bits that we've already got in there. That might... Hopefully that will work. Hopefully that will all be good. How are we doing over this side? Not a lot has happened here. We've done a bit of digging out this way. We ha Well, actually, we have done quite a bit. So things are progressing, but they're progressing a little bit slow. We need them to progress better. I've got plenty of water in here at the moment. So we don't need to concern ourselves too much with water. Uh, the other thing I was doing was I dug that little bit out from there, and I want to have a look at the ventilation. Right, this is looking a lot better, because this one's now running continuously. Um, I don't have that being forced down through, so now I've just got this one looping, and this one looping over here, which is actually really good. So that one's running continuously. I'm thinking I don't need to add in. I was going to add in some extra battery packs and then add in some more automation so that this sort of just did one little bit. But I don't think I need to worry about that. I've got that gas running through. I could I could fit in another one of these. If I was, if I was to open it up, uh, well, actually, the other one of those needs to go over this side. That's where it's ultimately going to end up being, is over on that side. But we've got to finish digging out that tank first. So I do want some more of these smart batteries. And then that's going to be like a battery pack that we're going to put up for something a bit later. Um, where we're going to be able to join in. One, two, three, four, five, uh, two, six this time. And we will also put in a bit of extra base. That's going to go out like that. And... I'm going to go up to there, except that I'm going to cancel that one and that one. I'm going to cancel those two. We'll leave the base like that for a minute. We'll see how that works out. Um, yeah, what I'd like is to have some batteries connected up to this one and another one that we'll put over here. And then it will prioritize doing that gas first over the other. Um... This one here, this hydrogen generator, I'm wondering if I should get rid of it. No, I don't I don't think I will. I think we will keep that one. Hydrogen generator can stay. Look, that mealwood there is growing. The other mealwood plants aren't growing. Not at the moment. Oxygen, temperature, how are we doing in here? This is 40 degrees in here. This is insanely hot in here. It is absolutely insanely hot in here. So hopefully this little cooling run up through here will help to cool it down enough to put this. Otherwise, I could get some more wheeze warts in here. That's my other option, I think. But I, d I don't think you get wheeze warts very easily. Okay, fabrications in here. Cool vest, snazzy suit. Warm sweater. No fabrications. That's a textile loom. Right, well, that's no good, then. Furniture, no. Grooming station, textile loom. It's the Atmo suit. Exosuit forge. That's the one that I want. Right, well, you here. Cool vest protects the wearer from heat by decreasing insulation. I'm going to deconstruct this building a second. I'm going to take that one apart. This is the wrong building. I don't actually want that one there. I want stations. 
and I want an exosuit forge. Duplicates will not fabricate items unless those items are queued. It, this is the one that we want. We need the exosuit forge. Now, this one requires 480 watts to run, which is quite a significant amount. We've got food decaying. Have you quite finished? You are taking your time dismantling that one. Right, done. Station, exosuit forge. Dump you down there. Right, now you build up that exosuit forge. That would be absolutely fantastic. I have got some pipes being built all the way up through here. And we've also got some ladders up there to be constructed. Those will do fine. They will be absolutely wonderful. I've got the oxygen slash hydrogen in here. We've got the all the right conditions for those. Here is all of my smart batteries. So what we want to do with the smart batteries is we need to go to power in here. And we want to go to the heavy watt wire. And I'll join those together like that. Then what I want to do is I want to join them in onto here. So I'm going to need to put a plate in there. Heavy watt joint plate. Rotate that one round. That one's got to go there. So before I can put that one in, I've got to uh, destroy that. Once that bit's been destroyed, then we can work on the next part. Duplicants are a wee bit busy at the moment. I'm thinking we need more duplicants coming in. I, I'm, I'm going to need like extra mess halls, extra rooms for them. So that they can have plenty of room to sleep and all the rest of it. Which means i got to get rid of all this water that has come in here. I don't know why it's like... I think it's just stuck to the pipes. Seems a bit odd. I don't know why it would be sticking to the pipes. i got lots and lots of coal lying around in here as well. Which is awesome. That is genuinely brilliant. We've got so much coal sort of hanging around. Default schedule work. Off you go again. Whole load more stuff. We're, we're slowly getting rid of items and that in here. It is taking a while, but it's it's getting there. Mesh tile, that one can now be filled in there. Which means that I've now got that bit all the way across completed. And we can start getting rid of some of this. If I go with the base, I'm going to go with mesh tiles here. Do three like that, and then I'll dig out the little bit of the base that's left in there. They'll go through, and they'll very quickly finish building all of that. Deal with the slime that's in there as well. And they're finishing off building a whole load of this. Right, that's good in there. This up here, we've got the... Oh, I've got the plate that's gone through, that's been removed. So now I can go here and I can take my uh, heavy watt joint plate there. That one will snap onto there like that. Heavy watt wire will then go down here and connect on there like that. That will join into that bit. He says that's what I'm hoping. Pipes along here, they're well, they're, they're taking a while. But I mean, I've got the I've got the Dracos in here. They well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit. Just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.